Hi, this is Todd with Industrial Comfort. My little co-fabricator is doing a sleepover with her grandparents tonight, so unfortunately, you guys just get me today. So if you're watching this video, there's a high likelihood that you own a lathe. And all lathes come with this, a faceplate, used to mount your work. So, if you're like me, you have difficulty finding dead center to mount this faceplate once you've scribed the work in preparation for cutting and eventually mounting to the lathe. So what I've done is create this faceplate centering jig, which I'm going to show you how to make today. So this project, um, you can use any scrap wood for this project. I would highly recommend a harder wood as um, the threading on these faceplates tends to be pretty sharp. So if you're going to be using this frequently, it's going to extend the longevity if you use long, um, hardwood. The other unique feature of this is its adjustability. So I have used a hollow wall anchor that will allow us to um, create the adjustable feature of this lathe jig. If you've ever hung anything on a wall, you've most likely encountered a wall anchor maybe like this. And the reason that I've chosen this as a component to the project today is that it is a threaded screw that already has a very sharp uniform point that will allow us to serve as an adjustable center on the faceplate jig. So I personally like to do a lot of work with live edge wood and the live edge is never flat, it's never uniform, it's got a lot of irregularities to it and so being able to raise and lower this with this pocket right here which is allowing me to access the screw head with either a Phillips or flathead screwdriver I can raise and lower this based on uh, the particular relativity of the surface against the faceplate here. So let's get started. And that's our adjustable faceplate lathe centering jig. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thanks.